Right away we go on the Laurel Farm sheep out of Glen Loft, ladies and gentlemen. There's uh, 190 of these first cross shoes. They're April, May 16 drop. They're barred, Sean. They've been departure with pole Dorset Rams since the 25th of January. They're scanned in lamb and they're Gadir vaccinated. There is 96 multiple uh, multiple scans here, ladies and gentlemen, and 94 singles. <laughs> Elders Witchy Proof conducted a store sheep sale on Friday. Greg Boyd joins me. Greg, um, not a big crowd in and uh, not, a, not a big uh, yarding in either, but uh, the results, you'd be uh, pretty happy everyone would go home smiling today. Yeah, yeah especially on the female shirt, like, they were right up there, especially for the uh, young join crossbred ewes and the join merino ewes, with a skin on them. Yeah, you started off the day on, on, on a pretty attractive pen. They, they wouldn't be what you'd call a, top A graders, no. but uh, a, a nice pen of uh, 16 drop uh, joined up at ewe lambs, uh, and they've made uh, three. 322. They chased them from about 250. Yeah, something like that. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So that, a good result. Uh, three, two sales over 300 dollars. Yeah. No. Excellent. Like there's been a few sales um, lately, just around the 300 bucks for young joint you So it's good to see we're still up there with it. Yeah. Uh, probably a little bit of a sap, soft patch in the unjoined uh, crossbred ewe lambs. Yeah, I think so too. Um, look, some of those ewes that were not far off the one and a half year old season back in the spring, we haven't got far to go to that. So. A lot of those ewes, if you want to go buy them once they're grown out, they'll be sort of two hundred and forty dollars, two hundred and sixty dollars ewes, I reckon. Yeah. So at one hundred and hundred and eighty to two hundred four or six dollars, uh, there there was still a little bit of latitude in those. Well, especially for guys who want to put them in the paddock for the next three three or four months instead of going and buying one and a half. I think yeah, there's, there's a, probably a saving of forty or fifty bucks. Yeah. With the return to favour of the wool industry, uh, merino ewes were pretty well hunted, joined up today. Yeah, they were. Yeah. And look, we've been getting around that sort of two hundred and sixty bucks for joined ewes for the last. This is the third sale we've been sort of knocking around that door, so pretty good again, I'd say. Yeah, two, two, there was uh, two, three lots over 260 and yep. uh, and up to 269 dollars. Uh, the strength of the market possibly was in the light end of the store. Weather lamps. You had a good yarding of weather lamps in here today, and some of them nearly. Uh, uh, half of them have gone back to the butchers. Yeah, half have gone back to the butchers and half have gone back to the uh, back out the paddock. Just depends on yeah what time of line. The real probably heavy wool cutting sheep uh, with a bit of skin have gone back to the paddock, uh, probably for future boat trade. And uh, some of the real light, younger, immature ones have gone back out the paddock for to growing out and see what they can probably either do with them in. July or August, or and um, we'll grow them out further again for to next year. Yeah, 149 dollars for the tops of them, 20 kilos, and probably a 20 dollar skin. So, you know, that's uh, pretty handy money, and where you'd probably see them make it, uh, in, you know, in the fat markets on Mondays. Oh, um, I say so, yeah. And look, it's sort of a bit of a hard thing with those woolier sheep. You're not too sure what's underneath them, so sometimes the butchers hang off them, and who knows? So yeah. Uh, some air freight lambs at the at, at the middle and back end of the uh, the market that's made near seven dollars a kilo, uh, yeah, one hundred and thirty three dollars, seventeen kilos. So uh, they'd be uh, that's pretty pretty good going. No, they, they were probably yeah, the, the the bigger the weathers were probably cheaper per kilo, and the, the bottom end were yeah definitely dearer. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, going to be a little while before you have the next sale, another six weeks, uh, 30th of June, no, tell me. Yeah, yeah, we're having the, instead of uh, hay having the traditional last uh, sale in Friday in June, we're, we're having one now, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks Greg. No worries, thank you.